Hey up everyone, welcome to another episode of Cast the Line. Um, today we're on, uh, I'm going to call it the uh, hidden gem. Um, I can't really disclose where it is because uh, there's a few lads fishing on here that want to keep it to themselves. But we're doing something a bit different today. Uh, I'm going to have a go for some sturgeon. Um, there's some uh, nice fish in here. I've already seen uh, the guy next to me catch a 20 pounder this morning. Um, I'm being told they go up to 60 pound in here. So it, I'm really looking forward to it. Both rods are in. I've just got the bivvy set up. Uh, Mr. Brindle's just joined me. He's just setting up now. Um, tomorrow morning, I've got uh, a few other lads coming down. Uh, we've got uh, Matthew Stone, uh, Jamie Bailey, um, Chicken. Hey up everyone, welcome to another episode of Cast the Line. Um, today we're on, uh, I'm going to call it the uh, hidden gem. Um, I can't really disclose where it is because uh, there's a few lads fishing on here that want to keep it to themselves. But we're doing something a bit... It's like a dinosaur, it's rock hard. <gasps> Well, please have this. Get him, mate. You got it. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Chuff with this. First UK caught st sturgeon for me. And the uh, smoked salmon and plum. Happy days. Around this side, go on, let go of that now. What does that say? 53. 50, just under 53. 52, what? 52's 12, obviously. Yeah. 52's 12. Yeah, 52's 12. So, right, Kipper, that. There's still one more big one than that, then. There's a 56. How many 50s is in here? Two. Two? Yeah. At the moment they're weighing about 56, 53. You're going to have fun trying to hold that up for the camera. <sighs> what go to the gym for? <laughs> I didn't actually get that bit, so you're all right. Well, Spooky, you come down on your first time and then you see one of the big ones out. Yeah. yeah. That looks like a freaking monster. They're just solid and all, aren't they? It's a joke. When I pick it up, it's the one I move
awesome. £52.12 it's just gone. Like I say, I've only been down here for a few hours now. This guy's been here since yesterday. And uh, I had quite a few carp and I've just decided to go for the sturgeon. When I first arrived, I seen him land a 20 pounder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I just quickly do a couple on there? Yeah. Just do it sideways, aren't I? I've never heard of that before. Your arms aching. Yeah. Sorry. You got the water. Ah, oh, sweet. It's ages, I've got a feeling this is pretty. One's got already. Yeah, that last one I had, didn't it? That took ages. Yeah, going back this, last time I saw him like this, let it go. I had to go out in the bloody boat, tip it back up, put it on its back. Sweet. So, um, it's uh, 20 to 2 now, been fishing for around about, I don't know, 3 hours or so now, um, getting a lot of false takes on the rods, I think it's from um, them hitting the lines, obviously with the big fins and stuff, uh, Matt's all set up now, uh, he's ready rocking and rolling, um, it's cold, I am cold though. So I've got my hood up. So yeah, I did have uh, one rod um, quite far out, but um, I've decided to fish both rods in the margins because uh, I think the sturgeon like patrolling the margins here. So the guy next to me, he's just had another sturgeon. He's just had a 32. He's doing really well. He's had quite a few carp as well. He's had two carp since I've been here, three sturgeon now. Um, he's been here since yesterday though, he's put out quite a big bed of bait, he's fishing over a big patch. I'm just uh, baiting up quite gingerly really, just a few crush boilers. Um, just playing it by ear. Obviously with me not fishing this late before, I don't just want to put all my eggs in one basket and pile it in. And and find out that I've overfed, the fish aren't liking it, so, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, like I say, it seems to be a lot of action here, so, I think we're still, I think we're going to catch a few fish, may till uh, Sunday dinner time anyway, so, good 48 hour session, like I say, the rest of the lads are joining us tomorrow, so, should be six of us, so be a good blog this. It's uh, not a very big lake really for the size of fish. It's, 
um, clay bottom uh, using the uh, safe zone leaders um, that's one of the rules here you have to use either a safe zone or one of the uh, uh, camo diffusion leaders <coughs> which I can see why it's uh, obviously put a lot of money and effort into this lake yeah the fish I had as well it's um, on my new hooks from RC Tackle um, I just uh, got some of the uh, Teflon range and I must say I'm very impressed with them really good bit of kit so yeah if you ever want any uh, decent hooks I would I would advise seeing Ryan at RC Tackle you find him on Facebook He doesn't just do hooks, he does um, swivels, tubing, clips, o-rings, uh, quick links. So even if anybody's interested, you can just comment on this video and I can give you his uh, contact details. And like I say, if anybody wants to buy any bait as well, just get in touch with me, I can sort you out. All the, all the range from Bad Boy Baits is £7.50 a kilo. Uh, they do the glugs to match every bait. Also, uh, any pop-ups that you want, any colour, mixed fluoros even. Um, pop-ups are £5.50, glugs are £5.50. God, I sound like a bloody advert. <laughs> but yeah, I'm well impressed. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing at the minute. Really enjoying my fishing. And it's it's nice to have some, some good quality bait and good terminal tackle and that. It's helping me and not only that, it's saving me a bit of money as well. I mean the likes of like, I don't know, corder and things like that these days. You know, it, it does get expensive when you're going out and buying stuff every week. So every little bit helps. That's the reason why I do it. I mean, since uh, I last fished at Willersley, um, I've had a bit of good news as well. I'm now a consultant for Bad Boy Baits. and now manage a Yorkshire team. So I've got like a, a good team of testers now. Um, currently looking for one more, mind you. But yeah, really enjoying what I'm doing. doing a social uh, in the next couple of months because um, I've had a few changes uh, a couple of people have decided to leave and I've uh, taken a couple of new guys on so I'm going to have a social it be nice to meet up everyone get all the boys together if anybody would like to see any samples of the bait as well I have got all the range in my freezer so uh, you can just get in touch with me and uh, get some uh, sent out to you or quite happy uh, come and have a look anytime. So yeah, I'm going to cut it short. I think it's time for something to eat. I'm starving. Right, so I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's around about 8 o'clock. Um, just smashed my PB again. Uh, this sturgeon's just gone 20, 26 pound on the nose, so uh, quite pleased with this. Um, didn't give a good fight like the last one though. Um, come in quite easily if I'm being honest. But yeah, fell to the same rig, same spot. <sighs> Another dinosaur. Well on. Ah, it's freezing. Yes. 20, 20 past now, mate. It's a bit wiry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Spot on. Loving it. Had a couple of aborted takes as well. You seem to get a lot of like liners where the fish are swimming into your line. <coughs> but yeah. yeah Watch picks. up with this. PB. My second ever British sturgeon. 
Well happy. Just grabbing the wall for you. Still got it. You can take some camera camera shots now if you want. Morning everyone. Right, so it's been a bit quiet since that last fish. Um, yeah, I've had a good sleep. <laughs> it's about past seven now. Um, the other lads here were due to turn up any minute. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update. Uh, I've just brought both rods in, put fresh baits on, uh, put a bit of bait in, not too much, just an handful. I say it's not as cold as yesterday yesterday morning though so yeah and it, I'd say around about 10 11 o'clock last night the temperature it sort of got uh, a bit milder I mean there was frost on the bivy um, but then the frost cleared up uh, and then it got cold again around about two o'clock ish woke up to a quite a mild morning it's a bit strange because uh, yesterday was getting a lot of liners where like the fish are swimming into your lines um, but last night and we got a couple of little knocks nothing like that was happening yesterday so I don't know if the fish are uh, moved around to a different part of the lake Got a lot of silverfish showing in front of me this morning as well. And I'm guessing, you know, that's not a good sign really. I mean, I'm sure these big staging and that that are in here, I'm sure they'd um, scare the other fish away. I might be wrong, I'm no staging expert. Like I say, this is only the second time I've ever fished for staging, so. It's not confident what I'm doing, compared to. So, persevere. If I can't seem to get into them, I might move. So, is that option? There was another guy come last night, he's gone on the opposite side. Um, I've not seen him have anything. Matt's still yet to uh, catch one as well. Lad next door to me who had the uh, 50, uh, he hadn't had one all night, so yeah, it's gone a bit quiet. It's strange, but I'm sure they'll show themselves. I'll keep watching the water. It's quite good actually, because um, yesterday you could actually see the staging head and tailing out the water. It's just like. I didn't even know they did that. It's uh, quite good to watch. Be nice to have the carp as well, though. There's some nice carp in here. Go up to thirty pound. But I'm gonna uh, have my breakfast now. Got the old uh, got the old porridge on the go, so. I'll update you soon.
Jamis. <laughs> You've only wiped two rods out, Stoney. <laughs> well, what can one say? One chuck, and in. Matt. Oh, it's only a baby, lads. No, it's not ready. Shake it. Careful. There we go. There we go. It's not the loud thing there. That the net rolls up so you don't got you. So I talk to like after a tally over truck. Oh dear. Twenty one and a half pounds. There you go. Close, I'll give it twenty twenty one and a half rest of the time. Right scrap. The other side of the lake, someone else is swim. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, one's moustache is going. <laughs> oh, bugger. <laughs> Come on. Oh. 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 Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly slapped me around the face then. Have you seen the photo of the one slapping around the face already from here? It's already on the bad boy page. Ah, oh, there we go, lads. Look at that. Taken from a little spot, I found 165 yards, about the size of a plate. Dropped on with a new bait, under test from bad boy baits. Don't tell Jamie, he doesn't know himself yet. Look at that. He said it was a bad cast to be going that kind of distance, but there we go. Look at that, from the bad cast, Johnny Know All. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lestertoy. I'm coming your way. Hello. Greetings. Someone roll me a fag. Oh. Bottle nose. Is it a bottle nose? It's all very. Ah, oh, fuck that. Fighting like a trooper. Can't do nothing with it. Look, listen. If it wasn't this hard, blowing the dams up in Germany. Fifty. 
few neighbours later. Lads, a quick bombing raid over uh, South Germany. I come pop back and caught this 24 8 off the secret base. Oh, oh calm down 24 8 and a new bad boy bites. Secret bites that I'm testing out for uh, Terence. Bad boy bite scope X 54 pounds a pure muscle. Look. Oh. Wicked lads. Bad boy all the way. Well done, Matt. Well done. Scope X. Go on it, lads. It's the way forward. Keep it out. Keep it there. Chicken wants to see it. Look at. It's massive, lads. Look. 54 pound on the nose on the scopex. Don't tell. Here he comes. Biggest, but the 14 pounder taken on the Oriental. On a um, carp tackle arrows hook. Is it? Did it give a good count of itself? Absolutely. Tried uh, fighting, but there was nothing, nothing to him. Came in. See, I knew you'd come good, good in the end, Brindle. True to form, leaves it till the last oh. night. Just need to catch its uh, <coughs> mum or dad now. <laughs> yeah, some nice colours on the go. It is considering them other ones that we've seen in here. Yeah. Nice little fish. Top on. Let's go back. Well done. Sorted. Good. So, blog time. Just had a little comment. Uh, it's just gone uh, 9.15 on the Oriental. <sighs> Not long for packing up and going home, so quite welcome this one. Pristine little fella though. Uh, size 6 wide gate from that seat tackle. <coughs> Lovely. Getting back. <laughs> 